Today, you're going to learn how to use be used to and get used to. This is a lesson that was requested by one of my awesome students and I'm happy to make it for you. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Today, you're going to learn how to use be used to and get used to. These are must know expressions for your vocabulary. Now, both of them are used to talk about a feeling of comfort when something's new in your daily routine, okay? So let me give you an example. If you watched my video yesterday, you'll know that I'm using a new mouse for my computer. Now this mouse is a little bit different, a little bit weird, because I have to use my thumb to move the mouse, which is not normal, right? So because of that, because it's not the normal way to use a mouse, I'm not comfortable with this action right now, okay? So I have to get used to it. I have to get used to it. Notice I said used to it. It can be two things. It can be the mouse, I have to get used to the mouse, my new mouse perhaps. So we can have get used to and then a noun. Now I could also say I have to get used to using it, using it. Now what do you notice there? In that case I'm using a verb, but I'm using a gerund verb, a verb in ing get used to using. So get used to plus gerund. Now this is the case for both be used to and get used to. After to, you can have a noun or a gerund verb. So pay attention to that structure. Now remember I said I have to get used to this mouse. This means I have to move from a feeling of discomfort to comfort. And the only reason why is because this is a new item in my daily routine. So anytime you add something new to your daily routine, you can use this expression, get used to, okay? Now, how about be used to? When do we use that? Hmm. Well, you simply need to know the difference between get and be. So we use get when we're talking about a transition, a transition from not to, in this case, not comfortable to comfortable, okay? The transition. So I said I have to, it's a requirement, I have to get used to using this new mouse. So I have to transition from not comfortable to comfortable. Now, how about a month later, you could ask me, oh, hey, Jennifer, how's the new mouse? Is it still uncomfortable? And then I could reply a month later, a month after using this mouse every day, I could say, no, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. And remember the it can be I'm used to the mouse or I'm used to using verb in ing. I'm used to using it. So here notice I use the verb to be and that's because I'm talking about my current state. Right now, a month into the future, right now, I'm comfortable with using this mouse. So when you get to the point where that new item in your daily routine is now comfortable, you can use be. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. But when you're in that transition, you'll use get. 
I'm getting used to it. I need to get used to it. Remember, get and be are verbs. So you need to conjugate them with the time reference and the subject as well. So if it were she, it would be she is used to it or she's getting used to it. So don't forget that verb conjugation. So just remember that we use be and get used to when we're talking about something new in our daily routine and a feeling of comfort with that new activity. We use get to talk about the transition from not comfortable too comfortable and we use be to talk about the current state as comfortable. Of course, these are both verbs so you need to conjugate them with the subject and the time reference and don't forget our structure. After to, we can have either a noun or a gerund verb. So that's everything you need to know to feel comfortable and confident using be and get used to. Now, of course, it's your turn to practice. I want you to think about something new in your daily routine. For me, it was using my mouse, so what about you? And talk about how you're getting used to it, and then talk about how you are used to it. So see if you can use be and get to talk about this new item in your daily routine. And leave your examples in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. Awesome job adding these really natural expressions to your vocabulary. You're going to use them all the time and make sure you get that structure as well. So leave your examples in the comments below and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.